smoke is quieting down. Seems like we've got to a lot of the smoke. Dub, you got smoke? All right, now. So recently, Rory and Moore were covering the ongoing beef, you know, between Kendrick Lamar, right? And during that conversation, Moore bold, made a bold statement. He said that nobody wanted to take Kendrick on tour except Drake. Now, according to Moore, it looks crazy to diss someone who helped you and looked out for you in the way Drake did for Kendrick. But Rory, Rory kept it real. He cut it and said, we did it. Right now, I covered this a couple months ago, right? But now this caught Maul off guard and he fired back, confused, asking what, huh? We did what? Rory didn't hesitate and repeated himself. He said, you know, that man helped us and we helped them. Now, who was he talking about? None other than Joe Budden, right? But Maul, Maul wasn't having that. He immediately dismissed it and said, that man stole from us and don't bring him up in my presence again. That energy shifted immediately. But Rory, you know, being a good friend he is, just let it go. He didn't push it back. He knew that Maul was, wasn't going to budge on that, right? He knew, he knew, it, was, he knew it wasn't going to happen. But still, it's interesting how Rory continues to acknowledge what Joe did for them, right? No matter what, he always keeps it 100. But with Maul, it's clear that bridge is burnt to a crisp. And it seems like Maul will never get over that. Now, this gets even more interesting because recently, Joe Budden was on his show with Imani and he casually mentioned that he wouldn't mind linking up with Rory at this African restaurant in the city if Imani was chilling with him. Now, Joe made it clear he's got no beef with Rory, but let's be honest, it's more who's still holding on to that grudge. Some might even say it's getting to the point where it's borderline disrespectful. But Joe, Joe seems to be playing chess, not checkers. And speaking on chess moves, here's where it gets wild. Joe Budden just inked the deal with prize picks. And guess what? Joe's ad runs as a commercial at the start of the new Rory and Maul's latest episode called Super Bowl. Now, if that's not the ultimate strategic play, I don't know what is. Look at the files. When you visit Aura.com slash defense, that's Aura.com slash defense to sign up for a 14 day free trial and start protecting you and your loved ones. That's A-U-R-A dot com slash defense. Certain terms apply. So be sure to check the site for details. What up, y'all? It's Joe Button here to talk about prize picks. Prize picks is the best place to win real money while watching football. You can get up to 100 times your money. Prospects will give you $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Just download the Prize Picks app and use code SPOTIFY. That's code SPOTIFY on Prize Picks to get $50 instantly when you play a $5 lineup. Prize Picks, run your game. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. All right, now think about it. Maul tells Rory never to mention Joe's name in his presence again. But now Joe's ad is running at the beginning of this show. You can't make this stuff up. It's almost like Joe orchestrated this as some kind of power move, knowing it would hit more right where it hurts. Joe's known for saying his God don't play about him. And if this is intentional, it's got some crazy karmic coincidence. It's as if the universe or Joe's business always finds a way to keep his name in the mix, right? Now, I can't help but think this feels like some type of Jay-Z level chess move, but in the world of podcasting, this is a straight up like Rock Nation or, or over your tactics. And you know what? I bet Joe saw Rory's freestyle recently and probably just laughed thinking, that was cute because while Rory is spitting bars, Joe's ad is playing right through Spotify on Rory and Maul's own show. Now, that's some next level stuff right there. Now, is there any chance Rory and Maul can adjust this situation with Spotify? Could they stop Joe's ads from running on their episodes or is this just the way business works? And do you think Joe Budden did this on purpose? Or is it really just a wild coincidence, given that 
The episode is called Super Bowl, and Prize Picks is a sports betting platform. You feel me? And at the end of the day, the day got to end. But at the end of the day, it's all just business, right? But if you're more holding on to this level of, you know, disdain for Joe Budden, like if you're that mad, and, and then you hear Joe's ad playing on your own podcast, you know, that, that's got to sting a little bit. I mean, it's almost like Joe pulled a Drake move on them, right? He made a move so strategic, it's got everyone talking. But Rory and Moore, I mean, I wouldn't really respond if I was them. Like, it's just going to give Joe more power in the situation, you know. But what do you guys think? Do you believe Joe Budden masterminded this? Or is it just a strange coincidence? If you were in Rory and Moore's shoes... How would you handle it? And do you think this situation is a wake-up call for more? Or will it just make the tension even worse? Let me know what you think, right? Like, let me know what you think. Because this is wild. You feel me? And I don't know. Do you think they got to get they step their business up, you know, like, to get more, like, ads and stuff like that and be more out there? I mean, they do do a lot. But, you know, should they step it up a bit? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe. You know we here. And we'll be back with the files. My guy, Dub, too. That's my man, though. Gang, gang. That's my man, big dub.